Dealing with narcissists is one of the most challenging activities because of the many red flags attached to their personalities. However, many people fall victim to their superficial charm, charisma, and wit. Some narcissists are skilled in communicating with and entertaining other people. They are loud and proud individuals. They try their best to impress people with their achievements and good deeds. In addition, they often get involved in an unhealthy exchange of words, such as arguments or debates. Here are the 10 reasons why narcissists can't cope with you. Number 1. Narcissists are quick-tempered. Narcissists have anger management issues, which they might have developed during childhood. Some of them are a byproduct of bad parenting, which means they grew up in a house with domestic violence and have alcoholic or drug-dependent parents. When their parents beat them when they were still little, they could not defend themselves. Because of that, narcissists may have unconsciously developed a rage or hatred against their parents. Since they could not speak up in their house, they did not learn how to manage or express their anger in less harmful ways. Other narcissists grew up with loving parents who spoiled them with almost everything. That is why they get mad quickly if they can't get what they want. Considering narcissists' quick-tempered nature, they do not know how to cope with you. Since they are perfectionists, narcissists want everything to fall into place according to their plans. However, if things do not go their way, they will throw tantrums and squirm in anger as if they were little spoiled brats. Number 2. Narcissists are close-minded. Since narcissists think they are always right and know everything, their minds are close to entertaining other people's points of view. Only their opinions matter. They will fight for what they think is right if others give them constructive criticism. With that, narcissists can cope with you because your thoughts, ideas, and emotions have no value to them. They stick to what they believe in and shrug off others' opinions. Narcissists do not accept correction and discipline because it would badly hurt their inflated egos. Do not expect narcissists to listen and understand if you attempt to share your idea with them. They will only reject every suggestion you offer in a specific matter. Since narcissists think they are perfect, they will have the final say in everything. Narcissists are unsuitable for leadership positions because they require open-mindedness active listening, and concern for others. Number 3. Narcissists are self-centered. Narcissists are self-absorbed, which means they are so obsessed with themselves. Their ultimate goal is to be in the spotlight, even if it means stepping on other people's emotions. Those egomaniacs are thirsty for validation, praise, and affection. They do not know how to cope with you because all they think and care about is how to seize their moment. Indeed, narcissists have little to no concern about other people. Their self-centeredness pushes away others to the side so that they can have the stage and microphone all for themselves. Number 4. Narcissists have a superiority complex. Narcissists urge to be always on top and first of everything because they are highly competitive and secretly insecure about other people. They do not know how to accept defeat because it would badly damage their inflated egos. As a result, narcissists developed a superiority complex over time as a defense mechanism against feelings of inferiority. Narcissists do not know how to cope with you because they do not treat you as their equals, but as inferiors. They will most likely act arrogant and rudely against you in front of many people as it makes them feel superior. Suppose you are someone who does not tolerate unjustifiable superiority. In that case, you can never get along with narcissists because they will punish those who rebel against their made-up sovereignty. It sounds so ironic that they demand respect and obedience but can't give the same to other people. Do not allow narcissists to make you feel small due to their superiority complex. Build immunity against their self-grandiosity and learn how to deflate their egos. Number 5. Narcissists are apathetic. Narcissists lack the empathy to console others who face complex problems and struggles. 
They are insensitive to other people's emotions because they only care about their well-being. Narcissists do not know how to cope with you because they are apathetic, which means they have little to no concern about your feelings. They are not the correct addresses to deliver your emotions because they will only invalidate how you feel. So whenever you need someone to talk to regarding your dilemmas, never attempt to approach narcissists because they will never listen, understand, or comfort you. However, narcissists may fake empathy as one of their schemes to get what they want from other people. Do not fall for their pseudo-empathy because it is another form of gaslighting disguised as an empathetic act toward you. Pseudo-empathy is when narcissists empathize with a larger group of people who suffer from hunger, war, epidemic, etc. But invalidate the emotions of someone who seeks comfort and advice from them. They compare the gravity of the struggle of others with those of yours. Narcissists deploy pseudo-empathy to make you feel guilty of feeling bad about your situation. And you will eventually feel like you do not have the right to complain about your problems. Do not conform to the narcissist's gaslighting tactics. Learn to strengthen your core identity. That way, you will know where you stand. You can do this by constant introspection, a process of evaluating your thoughts and emotions. If you know yourself better, those egomaniacs can't harm you emotionally and mentally. Number 6. Narcissists are irresponsible. Narcissists do not take accountability for the mistakes they committed. Instead, they run from the consequences of their wrongdoings. To evade punishment, narcissists deploy victim-blaming tactics. They do not know how to cope with you because they will never admit their faults if you call them out for their unpleasant behaviors. Narcissists strive to create and maintain a good image or reputation to get other people's trust, favor, and affection. That is why they can't confess to any that might bring dishonor or trouble to their names. Number 7. Narcissists are controlling. Since narcissists have a superiority complex, they urge to control other people because it makes them feel powerful. They do not know how to cope with you because they can't respect your liberty or freedom to do the things you want to achieve. If you are in a relationship with a narcissistic person, they will dictate to you what to do, what to say, what to eat, what to wear, etc. They will even control your career path because narcissists do not want to see you succeed. Narcissists do this because they are competitive and envious of your potential and future success. In addition, narcissistic partners will control how you spend your money as if it was their hard-earned cash. Number 8. Narcissists are possessive. Narcissistic partners are possessive and overprotective because they are afraid of losing the source of their narcissistic supply. Suppose you enter a romantic relationship with them. In that case, narcissists will not know how to cope with you because they will imprison you in their delusional world. They will restrict you from going out and having fun with friends, families, and colleagues. Narcissistic partners do not want to see their lovers being happy with other people. They want you all for themselves. Number 9. Narcissists are Pessimists Narcissists do not have positivity in them as they are more inclined to emphasize bad aspects or conditions and expect the worst case scenarios. They do not know how to cope with you if you have complex problems because instead of comforting you with positive words, they will make your burdens heavier to carry. Number 10. Narcissists are not good listeners. Since narcissists are loud and proud, they are notorious for their talkative nature. If you open up to them about your problems, narcissists will not know how to cope with you because they are not good listeners. They will only gaslight you or compare your struggles to those of others. Sometimes, we only need someone willing to lend their ears to us without judging us about our sentiments and problems. And sadly, narcissists will never be that someone. Do you have a narcissist in your life? Are they able to cope with you? If not, maybe it is the perfect time to reflect on your relationship with your narcissist. In the long run, you will only get emotionally exhausted and mentally damaged if you stay with those egomaniacs. Did you find this video interesting? What do you think? 
leave a comment below, like this video, and subscribe to this channel. Watch this next video right here.